Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation with natural logarithm, which is ln. We have ln a plus b over 3 equals ln a plus ln b all over 2. And in this problem, we're going to be looking for the values of a over b. All right. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to use a property of logs, which is very helpful. If you have the sum of two logs, that can be written as the log of a product. So ln a plus ln b can be written as ln a times b, and vice versa. Of course, in this case, we have to have A's, uh, a and b have to be positive because a log function is only defined if the arguments are positive. So this gives us the following. The left hand side stays the same for now, ln a plus b over 3. And for the right hand side, I can write ln a b for the numerator and 2 at the bottom. Now we have a 2 at the bottom, so we don't really have logs on both sides. Let's go ahead and get rid of the 2. How do we do that? First, let's Multiply both sides by 2. 2 is going to cancel out. And then let's use this 2, make it a power. Again, properties of logs is going to allow us to, and I could also write this in parentheses if you want. We can move the 2 over here as a power. So we can write the following. ln a plus b over 3 squared equals ln ab. So now we got ln's on both sides. This implies, since ln is a one-to-one -one function, this implies that a plus b over 3 squared equals ab. And if you go ahead and expand the numerator and multiply the denominator by itself, you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared divided by 9 equals ab. And then if you do cross multiplication, you're going to get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals 9ab. Let's go ahead and subtract 9ab from both sides. That way we're going to get a quadratic a squared minus 7ab plus b squared equals 0. I call this a quadratic because every term is basically a second power, but there are two variables. So we need to turn this into something more manageable. And remember, we're looking for a over b, right? So how do we find a over b from here? So one thing we need to recognize is this is a homogeneous equation. And in homogeneous equations, we can actually use a third variable. In other words, we can just set a over b equal to k. And remember, that's what we're trying to find. And from here, we get a equals kb. So we're going to go ahead and replace a with kb everywhere. Let's do it. Replace a with kb, k squared b squared, minus 7 times kb times b, plus b squared equals 0. And now, b times b is b squared, so we can take out b squared. And inside the parentheses, we get k squared minus 7k plus 1 equals 0. This is what makes it a homogeneous equation. As you can see, as soon as we made the replacement, we were able to take the b squared out, and inside the parentheses, we only have a single variable. That's what is really cool about this. So now notice that we, we get two results, either b squared is equal to 0 or k squared minus 7k plus 1 is equal to 0. b squared equals 0 implies b equals 0. And in the original problem, if you replace b with 0, you get a equals 0. But remember our condition. a and b have to be positive because we're dealing with a natural log. So these are not acceptable, which means b squared does not equal 0, which means the other factor needs to equal 0, which is k squared minus 7k plus 1 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation, fairly easy to solve. And remember, k is equal to a over b, and that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for the k values. And by using the quadratic formula, b squared 
negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is 49, minus 4, which is 45. And that is divided by 2. Now we can go ahead and split it up. So from here, a over b can be 7 plus, you know, square root of 45, we can write it as 9 times 5. So it's going to be 3 root 5 over 2. Or a over b can be 7 minus 3 root 5 over 2. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is a and b are both positive. Remember, we said, it, we said that at the beginning. So their ratio is also going to be positive. So are both of these positive numbers? No doubt about it, right? 7 plus 3 root 5 over 2 is definitely positive. But what about the minus sign? Well, 7 is square root of 49 and 3 root 5 is the square root of 45. So this is a positive quantity. This is positive. This is positive. We're all good. These are the solutions. So we get two solutions. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. For my second method, I'm going to use substitution, but let me rewrite the problem for you one more time. We have this equation, and I'm going to replace ln a with x, and I'm going to replace ln b with y. From definition of logs, this means a is equal to e to the power x, and this means b is equal to e to the power y. So that's what we're going to use in our equation. On the left-hand side, I have the a and b, so I can write it as ln e to the power x plus e to the power y divided by 3. On the right-hand side, I have ln a plus ln b divided by 2. Okay, this doesn't look very simple, but again, by using the definition of logs one more time, this is an e, remember? So we get e to the power x plus y over 2 equals e to the power x divide plus e to the power y divided by 3. So we get an equation like this, and what are we looking for? We're looking for a over b, and a over b here is e to the power x over e to the power y. Or you can write it as e to the power x minus y. So here's what we're going to do. Hocus pocus, we're going to switch these around. So 3 equals e to the x plus e to the y divided by e to the x plus y over 2. But I'm going to write it as e to the x over 2 times e to the y over 2 because their sum is that. And from here, I can go ahead and split it up. e to the x over e to the x over 2 plus, actually that's a times, times e to the y over 2 plus e to the y over e to the x over 2 times e to the y over 2. Make sense? So now I can go ahead and divide these by subtracting the exponents. So this gives me 3 equals e to the power x over 2 divided by e to the power y over 2 plus e to the power y over 2 divided by e to the power x over 2. And guess what? These are reciprocals. So, and we're looking for sort of this one, right? Almost there, almost there, pretty close. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to call this u. And this is going to be 1 over u. 3 equals u plus 1 over u. From here, to keep a long story short, u is going to be 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. But what is u? u is equal to, three to the e to the power x minus y over 2. But we're looking for e to the power x minus y. That is going to be e to the power x minus y over 2 squared. And that's going to be 3 plus minus root 5 over 2 squared. And guess what that's going to give you? That's going to give you the same value that we got with the first solution, which is 7 plus minus 3 root 5 divided by 2. And that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.